So what was it that you heard from Buckminster Fuller that changed you? One of the things that I read up about him was he had this concept which was called the final exam. He said that all of the world's challenges were distribution challenges. So for example, when you say there's poverty, it's not because there is enough money, it's just not distributed effectively. And he said that technology allows us to distribute far more effectively. And even then, in the 1970s, there was already enough technology to solve all the world's problems. And he said the reason we haven't solved them is because of our human consciousness. He says either consciousness will accelerate enough to harness that technology and we will solve the world's problems, or it won't, in which case technology will eventually destroy us and we have a window of time in order for us to actually be able to solve these challenges. If you look at the people in the world who are the ones talking the most about making a difference in the environment or in equality, it isn't really the governments, it is the entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. For me, what drives me is I think of my great, great, great grandchildren. And they'll be asking, well, what did he do while he was on this planet? And I think about that every day because when you come with that sense of mission, that how could you not do everything you can to make a difference in the world? That's what drives me every single day. Wow. There's so many examples of entrepreneurs that have said, well, I've got this problem. Others probably have this as well. What's the way I can figure out the solution to this? And then of course, they're solving it not just for themselves, but for everyone else as well. We're actually getting to a time where being an entrepreneur is no longer a maybe, it's actually a must. It's better job security mm -hmm. to be an entrepreneur, which is someone who knows how to create a job, than to be an employee, which is someone who has to wait and get a job because there's so much risk in terms of whether jobs will even exist in the future in the way that they are today. So I think what happens a lot of times is that maybe people say, hey, you know, I do have a talent and something I'd love to do, but I just don't believe that I can make money doing this. So what is the biggest barrier that potential entrepreneurs face trying to get into making a job for themselves? Our biggest barrier by far is our own mindset, by far. And I think that there is a fear that many people have, which is that either they're not good enough, right? Or that someone else is already doing it, so why even bother? Without realizing there's seven billion people on the planet today, <laughs> yeah. right? And there's always someone somewhere who has a problem they want solved. And if you can show yourself to care enough about them, to want to solve their problem for them. There's always money there for you. And the moment we get that, then we never have any fear whatsoever about wealth, right? That's true freedom. And everyone can get there much faster than they think. Everyone on this planet has the ability to be leaving here as a legend, mm -hmm. but you have to earn your way there. Mm -hmm. Too many people want to go out there and change the world, but they're not willing to change themselves. You know, this interview could be the very beginning of someone listening to this and saying, I could just listen to this and go back to my life. Or I could listen to this and actually say, this is a sign, right? I've got enough of them and now here it is, it's time to take action. I'm gonna go on the adventure. And for me, there's this power that I see every time I see an entrepreneur who takes that leap, someone who's in a job, someone who is in school, say, I'm gonna go out there and I'm just gonna risk it. I'm just gonna see what I'm actually capable of. Mm -hmm. And for every person I've seen who takes that step, they get into tapping into a much, much larger spirit than themselves, and they realize that was the true self that they had all along. Mm -hmm.